Hey guys, how's it going? So the new Infinity War trailer is out, as some of you probably already noticed, and it looks amazing! Now I watched it like 30 times by now, probably. I, I don't know, I, I stopped counting after like 20. But anyways, now there's some cool tidbits that I found while watching the trailer, and I just wanted to share it with you guys and see what you guys think. All right, now I'm gonna play the trailer and pause it at the moments of interestingness. Is that a word? But anyways, I'm gonna be pausing a lot, so be prepared for that. But anyways, let's get started. All right, now I'm gonna wear headphones to listen to this because I don't want the sound to come out of the speakers and interfere with the microphone there. So yeah, I'll just I'll just add the trailer sound in post. But but anyways, let's get started. All right, here we go. Got the Q ship entering New York City there. Pretty awesome. Kind of dizzy. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. Okay, now at first I thought it was Black Widow speaking here because you see her right there. Then I'm like, that's not her voice. So I'm like, who could be speaking? So I'm listening to the dialogue and I'm like, wait, that's gotta be Gamora. And lo and behold, it was. It's pretty cool because you had- wipe out half the universe. Because you never see her, like you never hear her voice in anything Avengers related. So this is the first time you hear her in anything Avengers-esque. So, so that's pretty cool. If he gets all the Infinity Stones. <laughs> He can do it with the snap of his fingers. Just like that. Tell me his name again. Thanos. Okay, now this scene's cool because you finally see his armor for the first time. Now, I've been seeing it in toys, a few toys. I reviewed one of them up here somewhere. But either way, it's at first I thought it was gimmicky, but now I know it's real. And it's, he's wearing it during the present time because he clearly has a gauntlet and the power stone. Because you see it later on in a flashback, but this proves that he still has his armor, which is awesome. Marvel entrance. I love how Spidey's just like, he's the first responder. He has his mask on, his street clothes. It's kind of reminiscent of like real life first responders, how when there's a disaster, I mean, they don't have time to gear up. They don't have their gear. Sometimes they're just off duty and they just, you know, they go with the minimal stuff that they have and they go and help and just do what they do best. And that's what Spidey's doing. So I don't know if they intended it, but it's, it's, it's a nice nod to those guys, you know, cool, cool guys, men and women. We got one advantage. Rocket Iron us. Man. We have with Thanos. All right, now this part's pretty cool. Like, let me go back a little bit, actually. A little bit more. Okay. You see that hole there? That looks like it's from the first trailer where, you know, Bruce Banner was in that hole there, and then you see Doctor Strange and Wong looking at him. So I guess that's a continuation from there. What he's doing with the time stones, kind of, I don't know if he's trying to fix the damage he'd done or if he's just doing something crazier. But the coolest thing is, you hear Tony Stark say the name Thanos. And I have, it, it sounded so weird at first, I had to play it 20 times before it sounded fine, but I realized it's because in the entire 10 years of the Marvel movies, you know, they've been building up to Infinity War and everything, but I don't think I've ever heard Tony Stark say the name Thanos. So it sounded so weird coming out of his mouth, but it's also so cool because it's like the accumulation of 10 years. It's almost like a coming of age, like an officializing thing. That's not a word. Officializing thing. And it's just like the fact that Tony Stark, the man who started it all, said it. You know, it just it just says like, yeah, this this is going down. This is happening. So so that was pretty cool. Continue here. Have with Thanos once. So that's what. This scene right here looks like where Vision takes his damage. You know, you saw like from the first trailer where like he's all limping and stuff. This seems like the scene where that happened. Also, you can see us uh, go back a little bit. Scarlet Witch got a new hairdo, looking looking pretty fly. We oh, use Wakanda. So cool. And you see back here, Vision's kind of limping in the back. He's got his arm on his like rib cage or something. So it looks like he's just coming to get help here. And this looks like it's going to be pivotal because I, I heard Kevin Feige say that Wakanda scene, the Wakanda scene is going to take like one third of the whole movie. So, so yeah, that's going to be quite interesting. I'm sure there's going to be multiple battles going on everywhere, you know, space battle and stuff. But either way, pivotal moment. And here you see Shuri, looks like she's assessing Vision's wounds. Okay, now this scene is cool. There's a, like, a lot going on here. First off, what ship is that? That's clearly not the Milano. They're coming out of it. Also, Thor, Rocket, and Groot are missing, so it's like, 
Did they go off on their adventure already? You know, his little separate side quest, whatnot. And also, it's like, it looks like they're in some sort of city, because if you look back there, there's like skyscrapers, you know? So it's not just some weird mechanical, like, whatever. It's just, it looks like a city. And uh, for a little cross-franchise little Easter eggs there, look at that little ball there. Kind of reminds me of the little circle sphere thing that uh, is in Jurassic World, which also stars Chris Pratt. And also, too, if you look at the entire, like, art style and film grading, it really reminds me of Star Trek Into Darkness, uh, the, that one scene where they first meet Khan on that Klingon planet. And it's kind of interesting because it also stars Benedict Cumberbatch and Zoe Saldana, aka Doctor Strange and Gamora, so that, that's, that's kind of a cool Easter egg. I don't know if they meant to do that, but to me, that's an Easter egg. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except like it sucks. So let me do the plan, and that way, it might be really good. Wow. Okay, this part, <laughs> I love this scene a lot because I was wondering how they're gonna mix the comedy of Guardians of the Galaxy with the more seriousness, I guess, a little bit more seriousness of Avengers and Iron Man, and I guess they, they, they got it down, I guess, because you have Star-Lord's kind of smart aleck just dumbness <laughs> mixed with, you know, Tony Stark, and you kind of, the, the reaction exactly what you thought. You know, Tony Stark's like, oh my god, this guy is for real? Like, these guys saved the galaxy? And then it looks like Drax is about to say something really stupid, which is probably just going to blow Tony Stark's mind, and he's just going to be like, that's it, we're, we're all going to die. It, these guys are in charge, we're all going to die. And I love, too, how, whoop, let me go back here a little bit. Nope, not that, not that, not that. Where we go? Keep going. There we go. <laughs> Peter Parker's look on his face. He's got crazy looking hair. He's got his spider armor. And he's just geeking out like, oh my god. Look at that. There's, there's Star-Lord and Drax. And then there's Iron Man. And I'm wearing this cool suit. I'm on an alien planet. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> All right. Anyways, moving on. Do the we'll plan, just continue from that here. that way, it might be really good. Wow. Okay, now this scene just looks like it's from like Star Wars The Phantom Menace, that whole Battle of Naboo scene, but they're probably going to do it better, and honestly, Star Wars is owned by Disney, so I don't think they're going to have an issue with that. Hulk Buster looks awesome. The end is near. Okay, this scene right here, if you look at the background, it looks like it's that big machine from the original trailer where Thor's like, you know, doing his whole like muscle thing, majiggy, but... Rumor has it from what I read is he creates his new weapon, the Stormbreaker, when he's using that machine or something like that. I, I have a, I reviewed one of the toys, you can look at it right up here, where you can see the Stormbreaker in good detail. So, so looks like that's where he makes it and uh, Rocket and Groot are with him. So that's, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And right here, the Q-ship is crashing. Now it's interesting, it looks like they're, uh, from what I read, they're on the planet Titan and Titan is the destroyed homeworld of Thanos. And the thing is, you have Iron Man and Spidey sitting on the ship, and I guess Doctor Strange jumped along with them. It's somewhere along the line. But Star-Lord and Drax are clearly on the planet with them when they battle, especially when you see later in the scene, in, in this trailer. And it makes you wonder, like, you never see Star-Lord board that ship, so maybe that new ship they were in, maybe they shot down Thanos' Q-ship. So, so that's kind of something interesting to see. Plus, it also kind of reminisced of the Star Trek Into Darkness art style, so that's pretty cool. When I'm done. Now, this part's really cool. You really see his armor. It looks awesome. And as we go forward some more... Half of humanity. You can see, it looks like this is definitely a flashback that's clearly baby Gamora when he adopts her. You can see the Chitari on the other side, you know, from the original Avengers movie where they battled in New York and stuff. So that's pretty awesome there. Plus you hear him say here, um, when I'm done, only half of humanity will be left. And the interesting thing about that is, uh, I was reading how Kevin Feige said the backstory to Thanos is his homeworld was destroyed, but the thing is, he knew it was coming, and they didn't allow him to save it. So think like Krypton and Superman. And he was the last survivor, so he vowed to never let that happen again. And that's why he's doing all this crazy thing. And the thing is, he, he sees the expansion of the universe and colonization as like a threat to the well-being of the universe, and that is going to destroy itself because of that, which is why he's trying to like just basically kill off people and stop that expansion in order to supposedly preserve the universe and his, you know, mad psychotic thinking. So that's why, like, he's not trying to kill humanity because he hates them. He's 
killing them almost as a purge to preserve the universe. So that's that's pretty interesting. They're really giving a backstory there, which was pretty cool. He even says later on that, you know, he's balancing the universe out. So. And he will still exist. He gonna die. That's Black Order. I'm, I'm, beyond, I'm not even gonna pen, pretend like I know who they are. Like, they're, I mean, there's Proxima Midnight, Ebony Maw, and I forget the other names too. And there's Loki. What's interesting about Loki is like, did he did he change sides again? And it's like, is he the reason? I'm, I'm guessing the, the Asgardians on Thor's ship, you know, at the end of Ragnarok, I'm guessing they probably all ki got killed. That could even be the ship right there. And those could be the dead Asgardian bodies for all we know. So it's like, did Loki have a key in that? Or did he just like, oh snap, uh, Thanos is here. Um, I'm just gonna go with it. So so it'd be interesting to see, you know? Cause you know, he just, he just looks out for himself. He's Loki. Oh shit. Perfectly bounced. This scene looks like it's gonna be awesome. Oh, and he just said perfectly bounced too, so. Yeah. Oh, there's Doctor Strange in the little corner there, see? With little beep beep. Anyways. Now this scene, you see Scarlet Witch, she's in her street clothes. So it almost looks like she was surprise attacked. I'm thinking this might be the scene like from the original trailer where Vision and Scarlet Witch are in that kind of bedroom thing and they, they probably attacked here. It probably has to do with that scene where they're trying to take Vision's Infinity Stone in his head too. Possibly. We'll, we'll have to see. Things should be. This scene is crazy. It's like a straight up horror movie. Looks like, first of all, he looks like Voldemort. And second of all, the whole art style of this scene right here looks like it's from Harry Potter. It's freaking crazy. And right here, all these like spiky things or whatever. I mean, it looks like something out of the Saw horror movie. It's crazy. But also look, he's missing his cloak. So I'm wondering, was the cloak removed? Or is the cloak hiding somewhere, you know, waiting for a sneak attack on Ebony Maw there? So, so be interesting to see. Oh, this scene right here. Okay, I saw a leaked toy where it showed Hulk inside the Hulkbuster suit busting out. So I'm, I'm thinking Bruce Banner's actually in there and it, it would make sense because Tony Stark is clearly out there fighting, you know, Thanos on Titan. So. So I think he turns into the Hulk at this point, probably, and then the Hulk just busts out and starts whooping everybody. But the real question is, like, why didn't they lead with the Hulk? Like, why did he have to be Bruce Banner in the Hulkbuster suit? Like, is there a reason Hulk might be a, a you know, a, a bad thing to have on this battlefield? So that that that's the main question I really want to know. I hope they remember you. This scene right here. This scene is crazy. First off, the look on his face right now, I mean, his armor is clearly destroyed and he's on a different planet, so he has no backup armor. And the look on his face is actually reminiscent of his face in that flash, in that dream sequence in Age of Ultron, when Scarlet Witch makes him look into the future and he sees where he killed all the Avengers and he couldn't save them. That's what his face kind of reminds me of right now. So, so that, that's pretty cool. Plus, going back here a little bit, I mean, Thanos saying, I hope they remember you, and you see his face, I mean, he looks like he legitimately means it, and like, there's almost like this, this, like, intelligence, like, this person thinking he's doing something good for the, you know, a greater cause, just like Bane and Batman, you know, it's, it's a crazy idea, but they really believe in it, and he doesn't seem to have a grudge against Tony Stark, he's just like, you're in my way, you need to die, I don't want to kill you, but I respect you, so I hope they remember you. So that's that's pretty cool. Looks like they might actually have a decent backstory for Thanos here. So definitely looking forward to that. They remember you. Yeah, he's so dead. And Captain America here, like check this out right here. He's holding like his hand, but it, you know Thanos didn't punch at him. He just it's like he's reaching his hand towards him, and Captain America is holding it and going forward with it here. See that winch in his eye? It's almost like Thanos is like, wow, you're kind of strong. And he's like, just how strong are you? And he's pushing harder and he's impressed. Like, wow, you have quite a bit of strength for a human. Little does he know, he's a super soldier. So I'm wondering if Thanos feels the same way too. How it's like, he doesn't want to kill him. He respects him, but he's in his way. So that's just, it's just a thing that's going to happen. So very interested to see there. And also I don't want Captain America to die, but Chris Evans contract is up and he wants to do directing. So he's, 
He's probably gonna die, so is Tony Stark and Thor, but whatever, we'll see what happens. Ba -bom, the end. Or is it? Nope, there's still more, there's still more. You know that. I'm Peter, by the way. Yeah, there it is. Thoughts are strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. I love how he just says that. It's like, oh, you're using made-up names. And Dark Strange is like, oh, God, this kid. <laughs> so that, that's pretty cool. This scene right here is pretty awesome. I'll just play it for you real quick. Bouncing through all the destruction and all the ships. Now, here's the thing. It's very hard to actually pause at the right time. So I just flipped through the screenshot right here. But here, if you check this out, look at this screenshot. If you look at the back of his, his back right there, it looks like... Like, you know, those that shimmery, it could be a shimmery reflection from, you know, the light around there, but it's in vertical, you know, they're perfectly vertical, and it's it seems to be outlining the perfect area where his arms should come out. So I'm kind of wondering if, like, if that's a scene where his arms just, you know, engage and pop out of his, his suit, and they simply cut the scene so that you don't see it, but but it's going to happen there. And then they, it's like an Easter egg, so when you watch the movie, you're like, oh, they teased us in the trailer, and we didn't realize it, but now we know because we saw the movie, so... That's pretty cool, because, I mean, the, the armor Thanos toy turned out to be true. So the fact that all the toys of Iron Spider have the arms, pretty sure it's pretty pretty obvious, like, 95% like true that they're probably going to have his his arms. So so that's pretty cool. Well, guys, that's just my thoughts on the trailer. Now, the thing is, there's there's people out there who know way more about the Marvel Universe than me. Like, I'm, I'm not even going to pretend like I do. I mean, I'm, I'm a fan of the MCU, but when it comes to the comics, like, I, I used to like Spider-Man and X-Men, but I mean, I'm not, like, all the way in there like some of these other people, like, hands down to them, because I mean, like, wow, they know their stuff. But I just wanted to share my finding with you guys, because, I mean, this is some cool stuff. I'm excited about this movie, too, so, I mean, let's like, just, you know, just talk about this stuff because it's awesome and thankfully we we only have like about a month to wait so so we won't have to be you know in suspense for too long to see if these theories are true or not but there's one thing for sure this movie is going to be epic but anyways i have more infinity war toy reviews coming up too as well definitely want to get more after seeing this awesome trailer and i'll probably get more after seeing the movie of how epic it is but i have a surprise toy review coming up next which you probably know if you watch the black widow hero vision figure i just reviewed the newest review i have so so yeah well guys as always thanks for watching and Wow. That's all I got to say. Just wow to this trailer. So um, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.